Another horde-based concept, jam gaming. Right, so we've got one of these houses. We've already got the cobblestone bottom layer. So we're just going to run around and we're going to just upgrade these windows just for a little bit of extra protection. Um, we're not going to worry too much about them so far uh, and I'll show you why. Now what we'll do is actually put the spikes all the way around the outside of this cobblestone layer. So they've got to go through the spikes, be taking damage all the way through and smash through those upgraded spikes. So really the bottom floor should already be pretty darn tough. Now we're going to go out uh, the same level around the whole way through and we're just going to build a bit of a wall. Now I personally am not going to complete the wall, I want to give them the opportunity to try to get in or else we'll just be patching up random holes all over the place. Uh, we're going to spike the bottom layer as well so we're going to be trying to really uh, break those legs or we'll just do that extra bit of damage as much as we can. And we're going to dig a trench, again I just like to, when the zombies run through, just for them just to start taking damage really early on. So really just smashing those legs as they go through, they get stuck, they take more damage, um, as they come through they get weaker and weaker. So when we do get up top of our crossbow, gun, whatever it needs to be, um, we already have a nice weak zombie that we can just go ham on and, and just reduce the risk right reduce the risk of us actually dying or taking damage here we're going to start building a ramp so our ramps are going to be the way that we get in we don't want to make it easy we don't want to create a staircase so the zombies can just follow us up doors zombies path find to doors and hatches so we don't really want doors either but ramps ramps are pretty cool now you can tailor them so you can do your mini bike ramps things like that i do do that on other bases but this is just a quick concept knock up that i wanted to do in a couple of days before the uh, the oncoming horde night well let's just skip ahead and see what this ramp looks like afterwards you see here it's far more complete, we've got some drops there so the zombies won't be able to jump over that, we've upgraded it there. And they would fall down, they'll fall down onto what we want them to fall down onto, which is, you know, you better believe it, it's going to be spikes. They're going to have that extra bit of fall damage, smash onto the spikes, again it just makes it easier, it makes them more squishy for us. Now going back onto the trench, we've still got our trench system, zombies will be sprinting at night, running straight over these spikes, by the time they get to the second spike, their legs should be broken um, and if not you know they'll be so close that they'll get smashed by the inner ring upgrading a second ramp here so nice little jump nice and easy for players to do really hard for zombies to do so nice easy jumps uh, didn't even know that ladder was there but there you go it's a nice ladder it's a fallback position for us to take if the horde does get a little bit too scary here we're upgrading the walls we don't want to go overboard again they, they should see that there's a wall and take the easiest route a bit like water they'll just take the easiest route to flow through and we've left some gaps there because i don't like them just creating their own holes um, i like to funnel them where i can Upgrading all the spikes, it takes a lot of wood, I didn't count how much wood this actually took, but it was a good few thousand pieces of wood, um, which really, if you've got a tree farm, pff, it's, it's not going to be that much. I don't like making my spikes out of iron or metal, yes they last longer, um, but they do very similar amounts of damage, and to repair them, it's just more costly. If I can reduce that uptake cost, the upkeep cost rather, uh, that's what I much prefer. Okay, moving on to lighting. So we want to light it all up. I learned from my last base. I should probably do a little base tour actually, but it is quite late on the day for that one. But really, when you're on your night time or your horde night, whatever, and you're trying to shoot the zombies, it's really tricky to see. Um, I haven't done the cheaty thing of just turning my gamma up. There's a little tip for you. If you're not too worried about, you know, breaking the vanilla aspect of it, just turn your gamma up on your game options. You can do it mid-game. Um, and it will just make seeing at night time a hell of a lot easier. It's also good for mining as well. Um, but again, I try to steer away from uh, adjusting the settings. I keep it vanilla as possible. Keep it fair, you know, keep it the, the true dev um, wanted experience. <laughs> at least as much as uh, the console basic game was the, what the devs wanted. So lighting up the uh, house where we're going to be standing for Horde Night now, just to give us a little bit extra visibility. Um, you know, and not so much protection, but you know, we can see what we're doing a bit more at night time. Um, it's always good. So Horde Night's dropped. Three, two, one. There we go. There's the screen. So this is the Horde Night. It's not going to be crazy, but what I'll do, I'll just fly through it. I'll leave it on fast forward, or maybe times five, times ten. Just so you can see uh, what to expect. Like 
honestly, I'm not that impressed with hordes. I'm not that scared by them anymore. Um, not if you've got yourself holed up in something as simple as this. What, two, three rows of spikes in just an elevated position? Uh, I'm going to be pretty darn hard to get. But let's um, do a quick time lapse and uh, just see how we get on. Okay, so it was going well, or it is going well, right up until about this point. So I didn't take into account where the zombie spider things can crawl up. There you go, and he just catches me off guard, and, you know, I didn't look after myself. Look after yourself, take your bandages, take your first aid kits along, because um, I was just taking trap damage from my own spikes throughout the building process, um, and it really uh, bit me, bit me there. But going back to the base, um, we've got where the policemen blew up, so they can get stuck on spikes. If they're in your uh, proximity, in your area, they're just going to blow up, and it can blow chunks into your base. Now, concrete, not that big of a deal, but wood certainly is. It did a lot of damage. But what we'll do is we'll quickly go around, fly around, repair the damage, fill in the holes, uh, repair the spikes, all that sort of stuff, ready for the next horde. You'll see there are no breakages in the stone wall, they just did get through a couple of spikes though. But all in all, that central um, housing uh, it lasted a really uh, good amount of time. And what we'll do is we'll remove the wooden walkway along the outside of the building and replace it with iron bars. Now iron bars have got a short out as well, the short will go through the benefits of the iron bars, how to make them. But the main one, just for here, is uh, they allow you to shoot through them with guns and crossbows and bows, things like that. It just won't allow any explosives to go through. But, you know, that, that's good enough for me. I just want to be able to shoot through, give that extra visibility, protect the building a little bit more. Um, let's fly around the whole of the outside and see how long that takes us to do. Okay, so we're into the next night horde, and we're about to wrap up this video. But you sort of get it as, as a concept. So there's three uh, rows of spikes. There's a wall with um, partitions in to allow a limited funneled uh, stream of zombies to come through. We've now got the iron bars on the walkway. We've also monkey-proofed this as well. Um, so we've with the iron bars, it stops them climbing up quite as high. And also put wooden poles on uh, off-camera just to prevent them from climbing up again. So... That's this base as a concept, uh, not one of the better ones, uh, but it is something that you can knock up relatively quickly. With the wood, it's relatively cheap as well, and the uh, maintenance is quite cheap as well. We've, we've limited the amount of metal being used. Um, but what I'll do, I'll, um, I've got some mining biome videos coming out, so stay tuned for those. They'll be out pretty soon, and also some of the... Um, cheatier uh, cheesy bases as well like floating bases um, and that sort of thing they'll be coming out soon so just keep your eye out a like subscribe to the videos it really helps us out it makes doing this far more worthwhile um, and we will catch you on the next one